money. Hold up, like who knew? Get it, woo, get it. Who knew? Get it, money. Hold up, like who knew? Get it, woo, get it. Who knew? Get it, money. Hold up, like who knew? Get it, woo, get it. Who knew? Get it, money. Hold up, like who knew? One white, one black. Summer League champ, baby. All right, now, be honest. How does it feel? Man, I don't know, man. It's just Summer League. What like, summer? I feel like I'm just getting started right now. Oh, you definitely just heating up, though. Come on, now. I am seeing lots of positive engagement on social. Oh, Let's yeah? hear a little mm -hmm. bit. MP won't admit it, but he loves that stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Admit it? Like, I mean, yes, I'm human, but no. I like compliments, too. Oh, especially um, when they deserve. I tell you. Uh, imagine not wanting MP over Shep. Could never be me, fam. Uh, oh, I'm going to name my firstborn son after MP. Fast cap. Wow. Oh, that's cap. Mm. Mm. Hey, Ashley, you want to just uh, read it with feeling next time? <laughs> just a suggestion. Yo, yo. Thank you for the recap and all, but I was, you know, hoping that maybe we could, you know, look forward and talk about something that's possibly coming up, you know? Okay, yep. eyes on the prize, I that's love it. it. All right, Ashley, go. Uh, you have a meeting with Freddie Novak, okay. new head of brand and marketing. He wants to talk to you about some of the PR initiatives he's spearheading. Lots mm -hmm. of data-driven stuff, how to leverage research into results. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I actually read an article about him in the pin down. He's oh. a very, very interesting hire. That's mm -hmm. right. Very. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just to put this on your radar, we got you a spot on Top Takes Daily. Mm -hmm. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah, we don't have a date set uh, just yet, but it should be sometime in the next two weeks, and it's going to be a great opportunity to take control of the post-draft narrative. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there anything else that we got? That's it for now. Mainly, we just want you to focus on ball, man. Psh, man, y'all taking care of everything. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, for real. You already know, this ain't our first rodeo, kid. Oh, well, it is Mila's first rodeo. Okay, technically, it's your second. So oh, not I've been as the old MP since like eighth grade. That's oh, like wait, wait. 20 you rodeos. Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. We're not talking about MP here. Wait, bro, at all. Bro, come on, man. I mean, this whole agency is devoted to you right now. You can't be jealous, are you? Fam, you serious right now? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, man. That scares me. Funny. <laughs> Look, go to your meeting with Freddie and then holler at me when you're done. All right, fam. Ricky? Ricky gone. Text Ricky, I'm canceling lunch. You feel good about all this? I feel great. Okay, good. I feel good. It's a long-term game, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just taking it step by step. That's it, that's all we could do right now. Pace ourselves. Let's do it. Okay. Getting top takes on the phone. All right. Hey, how you doing? MP, nice to meet you. Oh, you know my name. It would be weird if I didn't. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> You're right on time for your meeting with Mr. Novak. Elevator's over there. Cool, cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Olive. Olive. Wow, that's a nice name. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Olive. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the team. Thank you. MP, it's going great on, to man. finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data-obsessed cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, Look, this Shep thing, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact in the start of your career. Okay, yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep, and of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look, there's no reason to think that you're not gonna take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Okay, so... 
What's the solution? Glad you asked. We identify key influencers in our biggest target demos, and we develop strategy to win their affections. Wait, wait, so you're telling me my playing time is dependent on what? Whether Johnny TikTok thinks I'm based or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But everything's connected. If we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. When the bottom line's affected, the governors aren't happy. When the governors aren't happy, nobody's happy. Okay. Um, I just want to be a pillar in this community, man. So if we can find a way to make this, you know, win the city initiative, be a part of that, I'm sold. But I also don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page, 100%. Look, I've already talked with your whole team about this impressive group of people, by the way, and they're going to take a lead on it, okay? But my door is always open. Freddie, man, I appreciate your transparency, man. Truly. Just doing my job. Believe me, it is an honor to work with someone as talented as you, MP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. Ah, what up, kid? What's going on, man? Yo, I appreciate you being here, but like I said, we ain't got to do this. What? This is... This is the in-person treatment that you hired me for. Look, just remember this day when Barry and Associates shows up, trying to see if you need a new agent, all right? <laughs> all right, yo, fair enough, man. So where do we start, man? Let's, let's, let's go on this little tour. Well, are you ready, Saya? Don't do that. Cut the little butler act, man. Act normal, bro. All right, yeah, that didn't even feel that right. Was, yeah, it was normal. All right, well, check it out, check it out. First up, we have the only runway in the world that can compete with Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> yeah, bro, that looks like a pretty normal hallway to yeah, me. Yeah, to the untrained eye, it's a normal hallway. But we both know that them pregame walks have made fashion icons out of Russell Westbrook, SGA, LeBron James. <laughs> I mean, the branding possibilities are endless, man. All right, I see you. Now, look, once you get some shine on the court, you know, getting your fashion bag, photographer's gonna be all over you, bro. And the best part is, all you gotta do is show up ready to work, look and fly. Come on, and I, and I can do that, can I? And yeah, maybe with a little bit of help, you can. Sure, I get fly, hey, I get look, fly look, to It don't you. even matter. Right now, I just want you to focus on your game, right? Fashion can come later. All right, so check this out. Talk to me. Down this way, you got the press room. Now, anytime you got some post-game media availability, mm -hmm. this is where you're gonna wanna go. Okay. Now, Ashley will meet you tonight after the game to walk you over, you know, give you some more pointers, but mm -hmm. typically it's gonna be on you to make sure you don't miss these opportunities. Sure. I mean, opening yourself up more for the press, it's just better for you. I mean, but you're a natural born leader, you get that. Bro, I do this, man. I could do media in my sleep. <laughs> all right, you know well, this. <laughs> well, one more note on that. The media is allowed all through this hallway. So you might get stopped for press time just when you're walking around. And because I said that, you are under the microscope here, all right? Bro, you ain't gotta Act make... accordingly, that's all I'm saying. You ain't gotta make it sound so intense, man. I got this. All right. What else you got for me? All right, well, down here is also the arena manager's office. You mm -hmm. probably not gonna go there much, but you know, just so you know. And also there's your standard generic meeting room. Now, once again, you're probably not gonna use it much, but I mean, could come in handy if you need to have a private conversation. Right, right, away from the prying eyes of the tabloids, right? Yes, look at you paying attention. I, I like a little that. bit, man. <laughs> and then down further a little bit this way, you got the locker room. And okay. looks like Coach Graves is waiting for you, actually. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's it. Now, I got to shake some hands before tonight's game, but uh, you go out there and have fun, man. man. Appreciate it, man. Again, man, it's always good seeing a familiar face in new settings. Man, don't even mention it. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> have a great game, man. All right, man. It's an early. Love to see it. Still doing my job, Coach. Humble and hardworking. Those qualities like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here for every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they don't. So it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You keep doing the right things. You'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. Hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Cool. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Oh, yeah, you were very clear about that. Communication is super important in this organization, so I am glad to hear you say that. And I'm also glad to let you know that you'll be our sixth man to start the season. Sixth man? Um, okay, can't be mad at that. I thought you'd be a little higher in the joy scale than can't be mad at that. Joy scale? 
Coach, you're a life coach on the side? Getting a little pocket money there? Yeah, I joke, <laughs> but I'm upset too. I'm not upset, it's just, I haven't come up the bench since my freshman year in college. And before that, never really. I get that. But six men at this level is a big responsibility. People have long careers in that role and you haven't even played a game yet. I feel you, I feel you, man. It's just, I have high expectations for myself and I'm not exactly at a 10 on the joy scale just yet. I get it, 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You wanna make it here, you gotta have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly, what are we doing? exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you wanna get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Coach, yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. The Nets have got seven of 11 shots to find the mark. Irving finds him. What's up, guys? It's Big CMMG out here on this NBA 2K23. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Today, we are playing the New Orleans Pelicans. Oh my god, already starting off a crazy dunk. Today we are playing the New Orleans Pelicans today, you know. You know we about to show up and show out as usual. This is my first NBA game, so you know the first NBA game on any 2K is going to be tough. But I'm going to try my best to get bring that dub home. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and let's go. I was at a foul. Oh, a three. Let's go. 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 You already know how I do. I change no forecast. He's turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Aye, aye. He gonna try to pass it in. Ingram against Harris. Either there to shoot. Outside Ingram. What I tell you? Miss. Pass to MP. Get open, Kyrie. Oh, oh, my God. throws it down. Straight How showing out the day, the coach. <laughs> we can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. The Pelicans trail. Okay, okay. Defense, defense. Balanchunas we winning by six. We winning by six. McCullum way outside. Her crazy. Perfect. He should occur. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. No. MP, the pass to Durant. Oh, I see you. Oh, there he is. Damn. Curry's got ten. There's a part of the game that goes under the radar. It's probably that right there, playmaking. Get on your man, Katie. Ingram. Pass to Valentunas. Okay, okay. He got a pass it. He ain't gonna score. He can't score. Let's go. Good MP rebound. The rebound. MP's got four rebounds now. Pass it back. Pass it. Oh, he got Ingram. it. He got it. Oh. Good look from MP. That Dude, drops. let's go. And it comes off an assist from Curry. We balling out today. And now just a one point. We balling out today. Now that's the kind of passing right there Down that one. makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Come on, come on. Oh, still uh, I almost had a bad for it. No yet the oh, that's not a good matchup. Just as he gets it that is a terrible matchup. Why would he put that man? How to find points no, that's a terrible matchup. Line. Ingram, a real pro at drawing okay, he need to be on him. This level. Oh, excuse me. Here's MP. And he oh, my God. Oh, MP throws what? it down. Uh, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so, so close. Oh, it's risky, go. but it sure did look good. Money, hold up, like who knew? Get it, Woo. get it, who knew? Get it, money, hold up, like who knew? Get it, Woo. get it, who knew? Get it, money, hold up, like who knew? Get it. Once again.
Man, an explosive highlight on there, the AT&T 5G slam so cam. disrespectful. The people upstairs the heck is going on out here? They're making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber oh. team. I thought he was going to shoot. Hernan Gomez sets a screen. An open look for Ingram. Oh, oh he man, come it. on. Nine for 14 and showing no love. Oh, we're done, bro. Ingram really we're done, bro. Either bro. part of that pick and roll. He can be the screener, and then he can roll. Or he can score off it. No, nice pass offense. it out. Oh. They get the rebound. Outside Durant. The three is up. And the Boom. There you go, KD. The strategy has been yes, pretty sir. simple here in the second half. Attack. KD, like you should have passed it to me in the first place. Find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Get off the paint before you get that angle. Hayes with the seconds. screen. Jones, the pass to Hayes. Oh, I thought I stole it. And there's a whistle. Get that out My eyes in a foul. Pass to MP. Here's Sumner. Back to MP. 4-3. Mm. Let's go. Thank you. Goes. MP's got 11 in the second Let's half. Let's go. It feels like the other Come four on, guys have disappeared at this He wants to be the one to get them back. Over to the wing. Back to Nance. Ingram, the pass to Come Hayes. On. Oh, that, that was some falls. good defense. Right. Pass to Valentunas. Over MP. And another oh, one falls for New Orleans. And that's where Jonas is going to do most of his damage. Down low, playing physical. Knocking guys Bam, out. Bam, let's go. That one's good. Oh, and about so New Orleans <laughs> On the wing, Curry. A deep Let's go. from MP. And it's good. Assisting on the play with Curry. Kids, uh, MP's got 41. Straight change in the four K. Here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot, down by one, down by one. You gotta chase them away. Oh no, you gonna No, that's not that a line. good matchup. Get the rebound. Let's go. Brooklyn trailing. And here's Curry. Pass to MP to take the lead. Oh, my God. And again, Brooklyn. I don't even care. No I'm just letting them fly. As many threes as possible. This kind of confidence is oh, impressive God. to see. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk. Warren against Valanciunas. Oh, why are you in this dog? Pass to Warren. Outside Irving. And here's MP there it is. Down the triple. Down. That's a five-point Brooklyn lead. Kyrie with that feel, man, it's so special. Impressive. Straight showing out. That's a direct on. All right, time for an injury report. Thanks, oh, my God, I'm going to do what? Oh, my God. They're trying a variety of things. He right back. Come on, come on. We got a minute and 50 seconds. Oh, they're going to sit me down? All right, that's good. What kind of mess? If y'all lose this game, bro. Oh my god. Two points. <laughs> we won by two points, yo. Coach, well, they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win. Bro, that was a close game. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what we next. And Be sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Let's go. Anderson, thanking you for watching tonight's game. So long, everybody. Money, hold up, like who knew? Get it, get it, who knew? Get it, money, hold up, like who knew? Get it, get it, who knew? I gotta do better on my three pointer show. Thirty three percent, thirty nine percent. Very horrible. Hey, MP, you're needed in the press room. Can I get a, hey, MP, how was the game? You look really good out there. How are you feeling out there? Hey, how are you feeling? Also, you're needed in the press room. Okay, so we could just skip the small talk. Yeah, follow me.
I'm gonna give you a rundown of the situation. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen closely because I will not be repeating myself. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Obviously, they're gonna wanna ask questions about how you played, so if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna wanna call on John Luck. If you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna wanna call on John Luck because his whole thing is access, so he's bound to lob you a softball or two. If you're feeling confident, you're gonna wanna call on Nate White, the man fans love to hate. His number one goal is to stir up controversy, so if you messed up even a little bit, he's gonna be all over that. Also, he's going to have a couple Shep questions to throw your way. So if you want to get into that, then he's your guy. The other major player on the beat is Candace Green. She's not here today, but she likes to get into the longer view of things, really get into the X's and O's. So if you want to brag about your basketball IQ, she is your person to call on. Okay. All right. Um, hey, is there uh, someone that you would choose first if you were me? Is there a conversation I should stay away from, you know? That is completely up to you. Yeah, yeah. What you say in that room is gonna go a long way in establishing your identity as a leader and your personal brand. Okay. And though I might have ideas about what you should say in a given situation, I can't tell you who to be. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should go starting any giant PR nightmares, no, no, okay? No, no, but no. there is more than one way to skin the proverbial cat, if you follow me. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, any more advice you got? <laughs> Lots, but you're needed inside, go. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> <clears throat> we are indeed. All right, look, I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I want you to know is that what drew me to you as a potential employer was your grace under pressure. Just always really respected the way that you handle yourself in the press, and I, you're I think you're gonna do a fantastic job in there. Wow, you uh, you really fought through that one. Um, but thank you, it's probably one of the nicest things you said to me. All right. You really need to get in there. They get cranky if they think they're gonna miss deadlines. I so. got you, I'm in there. Come on, let's go. Hey, everyone. Hey, hold on. How about we go with my homie over here? Fantastic win tonight, MP. Thanks, John. What was your favorite part of tonight's game? Just picking up that W, man. I could have easily scored 100 tonight, let's be real. But uh, if we would have gotten that loss, that wouldn't have mattered. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but I think you'd still be pretty happy with 100, no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess you got me there. But you know what I mean, John, stop playing with me, you know what I mean. You know, man, I, I played this game to win. So if it's, it's great to have this feeling my first time on the NBA floor. Totally, and it looked like you were having a great time out there too, oh, so I congrats was. again, MP. <laughs> I know you were looking forward to this all off season. I think we got time for a couple more questions. Uh, hey, you over here. Let's talk about a name. Shep Owens. You know, Shep Owens has cast a massive shadow over the start of your career. What do you need to do to um, convince the fans that it wasn't a mistake to draft you over Shep? Man, I can't think about it like that. I mean, my job is to perform the role that I've been given to the best of my abilities. And if I do that, I think I can help this team win games. And if we win games, fans can be more than happy. Okay, well, let me play the devil's advocate Here on this go. one. Well, do you think the fans will be happy if you remain a bench player for the rest of your career? Well, like I said, if we win, I don't see how they can be upset. I mean, obviously, every player in this league wants to start, and I'm no different, but winning comes first, man. And as long as we win more games than we lose, I'm sure they're gonna be more than happy, you know? These fans are smart, man, and they recognize that it takes an entire team to win, not just one great player. You know, a great starting lineup with zero depth is gonna have a hard time making a championship push, and that's our goal here. Compete for championships. That's it. 
Uh, seems like we're done here, huh? All right, see you guys later. Get it, money, hold up, like who knew? Get it, get it, who knew?